Hello there, my name is Tim Skinner and today we are discussing how IT systems can enable business success. I am being joined by Ote Yumi Atele from Etisalat, Nigeria. How are you? Very well, thank you. Thanks for having me, Tim. Absolute pleasure. Thank you for joining us. So why don't we begin by uh, explaining the project ongoing at Etisalat, Nigeria and some of the implementations that you've had of, of new IT systems. Okay, so we started this journey about three, four years ago with um, what we call the IT outsourcing. Right? And it was important to start with the outsourcing because the transformation program that we're running with our partners, who are we, is akin to building a house. Right? And nobody builds the house from the top. You start from the foundation. So we thought it was very important to sort out operations. And, and the very first step that we took was to sort out the IT outsourcing. So we, we did the outsourcing about three years ago. And you know, after you know, a shaky start, we're now at a point where we're beginning to see the benefits. So the quality of customer experience is improving. Mm -hmm. um, if you take out the currency issues that we have you know, in Nigeria, the cost to serve is also going down. We're seeing a lot of synergy and a lot of um, cost savings because Huawei is now managing all the third party relationships that we have. And because of that volume, they are able to drive you know, better efficiency from a, from a cost standpoint. Mm -hmm. The other thing that we're doing is also building our internal capabilities. What are, so the set of questions that we started with was how do we continue to differentiate ourselves in the market, right? You know, from a very, you know, beginning, Etisalat, you know, came to be known as the most innovative network in the Nigerian environment. So we asked ourselves the questions, what else can we do to be number one? You know, it's, it's very difficult attaining number one. It's even more difficult staying number one. So we decided that we're going to deepen our customer experience. So we started by, um, you know, looking at how best to um, improve the quality of experience that our customers are having. So we upgraded what, what we call the charging system, which is the core of our product development. And um, what that has done is we're able to react, you know, to customer needs a lot faster than, than the rest of competition. So that was very good. The other thing that the, that also delivered is the fa is is um, our customers can also do a lot of things by themselves. Mm -hmm. So we introduce self-service, right? Which means that you don't always have to go to the shop. You don't also always have to call the call center to get basic things sorted. Whether it's a new service you want or it's an issue you want to resolve, you can download the app or you can go to the website and, and self-serve, which, which is also good. The other thing that we've also done is we are now looking at how we introduce digital services. Mm. Okay, it's it's um, it's wide known in the industries that um, we can't kill the OTTs. We can't kill the OTT players. So the best thing to do is to cooperate with them, <laughs> right? Absolutely. So we're introducing digital services, and again we're doing that with Huawei. The, the biggest transformation that we're going to introduce in the market is what we call the business enabling systems, the BES, which, you know, in, in common day parlance, you probably hear people talking about customer relationship management, CRM, but this is bigger than your traditional CRM. We commenced the project about a year ago, and we should be delivering it towards the end of summer. So that's going to be a big step change in the way our customers engage with, with the network. Mm. That very comprehensive answer. So, 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 what would you say has been the most notable business benefit, the, the best sort of success for your company as a result of all of this? I think we've we've become a better, efficient company as as a consequence of this project. And I'll give you some examples. Mm. So, before we completed the charging system upgrade that I spoke about, it would normally take about three or four trials for a customer, right? Before an attempt to activate a new service becomes successful. Today, it's once. First time. First time. You know, first time right. You know, that's working very well. The other thing that we saw post the um, enhancements to the charging system, the, 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 what we call them the frontline KPI. So a good example would be customer satisfaction, right? We were struggling to hit 80% before the upgrades. Today, as we speak, you know, about a year after the upgrades were completed, we're trending between 80 and 95%. Wow. 
uh, and we measure it on a weekly basis. So this is feedback from the customers. So if somebody goes to the call center or, or, call, or, or, or walks into the retail outlet, you get served and almost immediately you respond to a survey. To, you know, to, to give an assessment of the quality of service that you got. Yeah. And, and as I said before, trending between you know, the high 80s and, and, and 90, you know, mid 90%. Excellent. Um, if you were to advise sort of fellow um, CPIOs as yourself, um, what, would you, what would you say? What would be your advice to, to other operators in the industry? I think today the um, people managing technology, you know, particularly the CIOs, were under a lot of pressure to drive efficiency. Of course. Right? So um, the best advice I'm going to give is start with a vision. There's a lot of you know, initiatives out there. There's a lot of things that people are you know, marketing and selling around. But start with a vision. Have the end game. You know, understand what the end, you know, what the end state looks like. And um, just walk back from the vision and, and identify those initiatives. Obviously, it's also very important to you know, carefully select who you go with. Mm -hmm. So it's important to select a partner with experience, sure. you know, with global reach that can bring different perspectives from different markets. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a long journey, right? And, and make sure that your, your fellow executives buy in into the vision. It's very important. Don't, dis don't describe it in technology terms. You know, quantify the business benefits and make sure everybody gets it. Mm, excellent. Um, and just the final question then is, is kind of what's next? Where are you going with this project? What can it really enable you to do in the future? Digital services. Everybody is talking about digitization today. Homes are becoming smarter. Mm -hmm. Customers are becoming more demanding you know, on the network. So, um, and digitization drives operational efficiency. Mm -hmm. right? So the pressure that I talked about you know, a few minutes ago is going to be eased by how quickly you digitize. So, so that's our next stage. Excellent. Thank right. you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you very much, Tim. Thank you. Thank you.